Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for joining me. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. So let's get straight into it, Scorpio. Let's have a look at your person's feelings and intentions towards you. Let's get an update for October 2024. So for those who are new, my name is Gigi. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now, Scorpio, there will be an extended available with this reading. So if this reading does resonate with you, it is optional. I will be looking at your person's possible actions and some final advice cards for you. So if you do want to check out the extended and you want to find out more, the extended will be available to rent or to purchase in the description box down below. It will be the first link, Scorpio. So I want to look at first your oracle cards, Scorpio. Let's have a look. Have a look at these messages first. Before we move on, okay, we've got two already. One more. Excellent. Okay. Wedding, taking your relationship to the next level, one step at a time. Interesting. So this kind of like reminds me of temperance a bit, Sagittarius energy. Taking things step by step, of course, moving the relationship forward, not impulsively, but doing things step by step. Some of you may be planning a wedding at the moment. Yes, what an exciting time, moving the relationship to this commitment area. Love it. And then we have window, a new adventure in love is coming. Get ready. Oh, I love this already. New adventure, new beginnings. Think of this as like the ace. One of the aces, especially like the ace of cups, even the ace of wands, a new adventure is coming. So even some of you that are planning of going away, traveling, whatever it is, there's always that possibility of meeting someone. And then we have butterfly. You will meet a new love interest at a party or a night out. Scorpio, any invitations that you receive, don't ignore them. Say yes. Make an effort. Get dressed up. Go. Have fun. Because every time, if you have fun, you suck that energy, you attract people, you become a magnet. Say yes. <laughs> so it just takes what resonates with you, of course. Scorpio, let's have a look at your tarot now. So I'll be using the light seers. Uh, for those who are students to our cause, you may recognize this tarot deck. It's the same deck that we use to teach. So I'll be using this de tarot deck today. Let's have a look. Smooth this here. Okay, what does Scorpio need to know about their person's intentions, please, and feelings? One more. Hmm, Scorpio? I do have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so the Eight of Pentacles, that's a working card. Working. So I feel like you're trying to work something out. Um, of course, I'm not doing career. This is an excellent card for career, but I feel like there's something that you're trying to work out. You're, you're trying to put a lot of effort. You're trying to find a solution. You also have the tower. The tower is showing again, a shock or a surprise, a release with the tower, also with the king of pentacles. So there could be something going on with this particular person. You may be dealing with someone that's a Capricorn. Taurus, even Virgo, where there's some sort of life-changing moment with this person. Interesting. Okay. Beautiful. We have the sun. 
Wow. It's starting off pretty good, Scorpio. <laughs> Leo energy, abundance, bliss, happiness, joy, healing, release. This is, this is just beautiful. Yes, this person, because we're going to be first covering the feelings. Yes, this person has good feelings, intentions. This, they're seeing like positivity in everything. What else do we have? Mm, excellent. The Knight of Pentacles. Even though it's the slowest moving knight, this knight is considered the most reliable knight, also represented by Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So we do have a Earth energy. Yes, this person's feeling that they want to offer you some something, an offer, a change, something tangible, something real, something that is going to be very difficult to refuse, Scorpio. So yes, I do feel, again, this person has really good feelings. They're approaching this situation not impulsively. No, they're being very responsible, very caring. It's about equal give and take. Beautiful. The Six of Pentacles. Respecting you as a person, as an individual, but also about equal give and take. In other words, respecting the relationship 50-50, respecting you as your own person too, Scorpio. This is excellent. Really good feelings. So this person has really good, beautiful, warm feelings, not just regarding love, but respecting you as a person. I feel like they... I feel also they, they want to take care of you. Just, just take care of you. That's, I feel like that's what they want. What are their intentions, please, though? Oh, okay. So we do have another knight. Your knight in shining armor, the knight of cups, known as the most romantic knight. Again, we have another one of, another of the fab fours, offer and changes. This could be, a, yes, someone's taking this relationship to the next level. Because as you can see, you see this knight, they're, they're playing a little bit more cool though. I don't want to scare you off. Well, this knight is showing a little bit more emotions now. It's like, I like you. You're attractive. I want to get to know you more. Because as you can see now, this we've got a movement now with this horse. So that may show you like a really, really neutral, cool side. This is their real intention, so. Nine of Wands, they're not going to give up. This is known as the Winded Soldier, the Winded Warrior. And you may say, I don't know about you. I need to think about it. They're not going to give up. They're a bit, bit tired. There's something that's happened here where they're feeling a little bit drained, a little bit tired. The Chariot. Yep, they, they're coming towards you, Scorp. Pio. They're coming towards you. So these these are great cards. Chariot. Known as the fastest big energy in all of Tarot. And you've got a Scorpio. This is represented by Cancer Energy. So this movement, this person is definitely coming towards you. Good feelings, good intentions. And even with the Nine of Wands, they may be feeling a little bit apprehensive to even approach you in the sense. No, this is not the right moment. Wait, no, yes, no, no, this is the right moment. It's like they're holding back, they're going back and forth until finally they're being nudged to say, go for it. Wow. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. So Scorpio, we're going to use now the Tarot of Cats. What else do we need to know, please, regarding this person? The sun, beautiful, the emperor. The emperor, Aries energy, is quite the leader. Someone that, they're not afraid to face anything. Like this is literally all the kings wrapped up in one. The emperor decides and takes action. This is good. This is someone that they know what they want in their life, Scorpio. 
And again, they may be in a very high position at work. They may run their own business. They may have a lot of responsibilities. But at the same time, they still make time for love and family. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, beautiful messages that can lead to face-to-face -face communication. But these are messages that will, very passionate, I'm going to say. Like these are messages that this person feels very driven to do. They feel that passion. They feel that desire to message you. Keep your phone close, Scorpio. Because they just have this feeling, this urge to message you. It may take a bit of time, though, because remember, you do have the slowest moving night. I feel like they will do it when they are ready, when they have the courage to do it. The Six of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Yep, they need to make that decision. They're holding back. Also, the Seven of Pentacles. They're thinking really long term, also. Like in terms of their feelings, it, they're actually even wondering can this work long term? They need to make that decision, though, because if they don't do anything, nothing's going to happen. But they are thinking long term in the sense what is this going to look at five years down the track, 10 years down the track? The Knight of Cups. So we do have that. King of Pentacles that also came out behind the deck here. There's that King of Pentacles. Yeah, making a realistic decision here. Remaining grounded. So being grounded, consciously understanding what is going on. But the King of Pentacles, again, this is someone maybe a little bit older than you. Works hard. Also, they want to make time for love. Nine of Wands, also the Temperance card. So Temperance is not about being impulsive. This is why I, I feel like this person is going to take their time. They're going to be very patient with themselves. They, they don't want, I feel like they're afraid of rejection. They're, I feel like they're afraid of how you might react, Scorpio. So I feel like they're just going to take things step by step. But Temperance is the card of love and devotion. So they need to be patient with themselves. They need to give themselves unconditional love. The Chariot. Six of Swords, excellence, they're going towards you, but they're also moving away from turbulent times and into calmer waters. They're going towards the Ten of Pentacles. So what do they want from you, Scorpio? They want the ultimate dream life with you. They feel that they can have their happily ever after with you, Scorpio. It's just something about you. They see you and they get butterflies in their stomach, weak at the knees. So overall, just by these cards, this person's intentions and their feelings towards you are beautiful. There's nothing hidden. There's, I'm not feeling that this person's coming with bad intentions. No, not at all. If anything, this person wants to impress you, Scorpio. They want to just sweep you off your feet, I'm going to say, also. Beautiful card, so. Scorpio, now we do have a travel card going on that journey. That beautiful journey. The sun can also show going somewhere hot, traveling to a hot and sunny place. So, Scorpio, if you do get on your side uh, an urge or an invitation to travel somewhere, be adventurous and go for it. Say yes. Remember the invitations, the butterfly, any invitations that you may receive from your family or your friends, go. Because this person, yeah. I want to win your heart over, Scorpio. This is absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for joining me. I'm going to move on now with your extended tarot reading where we'll be looking at your person's possible actions and some final advice for you. Thank you, Scorpio. Have an amazing day, and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.